Well on everybody. This is Lennox here from Simple One Two Tree Trader. This is uh, a weekly outlook of the major U.S. pairs in the uh, foreign exchange market. Uh, this is for educational purposes only, and I'm just going to do an overview of what I see setting up for the week of uh, July 29th uh, with the major pairs. The first thing I, I always look at uh, is the U.S. dollar futures index, and this is uh, on the monthly time frame. And what I'm seeing here uh, currently uh, is a very strong uh, uptrend overall in the monthly that we've been in, and uh, with a a, a move in this structure here, uh, which is in a uh, channel. And at this point, we have a, a likely push to the upside to come. Uh, this is on the monthly time frame, so this will take a while to play out. But right now, that's what the overall trajectory for the US dollar futures index looks like. So let's hone in a little bit and see uh, what we're looking at uh, in the shorter time frame. So on the weekly, so again, I'll just go back to the monthly. So what I, at this point here, we are coming coming back down. We could come back into this area here, and then from there we'll be pushing to, to the upside on the monthly. Okay, so on the weekly time frame, you can see that we have dropped down into this level and again I, I can see another push coming down and maybe back to this uh, support area at this point in the 90 93 370 uh, area okay so that's totally possible and uh, dropping to the daily time frame okay now we can see we've been we've come through this channel here uh, formed a, a nice uh, one two three at this point drop to this level Moving back up, my expectation is for this to, to fall back down, at least to the support area initially. Okay. After that week, yes, we could get a bounce from this from this location, or we could even drop further, but th this would be the first uh, line of defense on the way down. Okay, so right now we're we're on the uh, daily looking at this this structure here. So on the four hour time frame, here we go again, we're in this channel. And uh, we're now looking uh, to turn to the downside. So a weak U.S. dollar setting up, and we could be we start falling to the downside. Okay, and, and dropping to the one-hour time frame. Um, now we can clearly start to see the overall pattern, which is uh, setting up now. So we have a one, two, three top there, and we are heading to the downside. So we could look uh, for prices to come. Uh, ways down. Okay, so I can even actually calculate where price is going to go to at this point um, with our wave calculator tool um, by just putting the uh, our one two three on on this on this uh, one two three top that's uh, formed here, and that gives us targets all the way down to previous uh, support. Okay, so this is a likely targets um, in, in this move down. And we could uh, certainly uh, see price uh, reaching at least to this to this area here, and, and maybe even lower. Okay, so that's a look at the U.S. futures, the U.S. dollar futures index, and this is um, uh, very important uh, to look at the U.S. dollar futures index if we can uh, see what direction the U.S. dollar is moving into. Uh, then we can play the major pairs uh, against it. So the weak U.S. dollar is going to give us uh, plays uh, for the Aussie U.S. dollar, the Euro U.S. dollar, GBP U.S. dollar, New Zealand U.S. dollar uh, to the upside. So that's what we'll be looking for our up moves. Okay, so primarily, so starting on the monthly for Aussie U.S. dollar, you can see that we came, we came down uh, in, again in another channel and we are bouncing to the upside at this point and looking to break through that channel line on the weekly we're, we're bouncing again and we're at a support uh, sorry a resistance area at this point uh, we've got uh, this move and so we'd be looking for price to push to the upside okay against a weak us dollar daily this is what's happening and we can start to see the pattern 
and we are moving up. We're kind of sideways right now, but we'd be looking for a break to the upside at this point. Okay, so dropping down to the four hour time frame, you can, now we can clearly see that yes, indeed we are in a sideways channel and uh, looking for a break of this to the upside. Okay, and that's uh, the basic setup that should um, give us a uh, move out is now on the one hour time frame. There it is, and a couple of them, and we can then look to, for this for price to take off up and up to perhaps this uh, resistance area. We can also calculate that uh, that move right there. Get that. Do that again, and that's better. Okay, charts moving up to that. Uh, and there we go. There's our, our targets again and right up right up to the previous uh, resistance area and at least likely to this to this uh, area here for price. OK, for targets. So that's uh, um, the Aussie US dollar. That's that will be the trajectory for uh, upcoming in the next few days. Taking a look at the euro US dollar. I'll start on the monthly again. And uh, th this one also. Uh, you Again, clearly in a channel and being up and down, up and down in the channel. We're kind of in the middle top of the channel right now. And again, we're looking for a push to the upside based on a, a weak US dollar. OK, so dropping to the weekly. This is a, a big move to the upside on the daily, big move to the upside. Um, and uh, again, we're in a kind of a channel here. And uh, looking for a push to the upside. OK, so on the four hour time frame. We, again, we can see that we're in this channel sideways. We're looking for this to push to the upside here. On the one hour time frame, that's where we'd be looking for entry. And we can clearly see our entry there. And that would be a play again to, to this level of resistance up here. So again, I can, I can Put the uh, wave calculator uh, on this one, two, three at this point, and this will give me targets to uh, look at and um, trade to. Okay, so uh, looking at this target looks really good right back at the previous resistance area here, uh, sort of a, um, a supply area, a previous supply area. So that look that's looking uh, very strong to to make it to that area. Okay, so that's the Euro US dollar. Now taking a look at the GBP US dollar and on the monthly. So again, on the monthly, um, this one I need to shrink a little bit. Okay, so basically um, we've come down in this, in this fashion and uh, we're in the middle of a move to the downside here at this point. We can see we're totally in an overall downtrend, but we came very close here. Uh, and bounced again. So um, making this a little bigger, dropping to the weekly time frame, we got this big bounce at this point and uh, uh, tr are trying to push to the upside. However, we have an overriding move here that's taken us back up. So this move down is bounced back up. So looking like the GBP is a little weak against the US dollar in this case. Okay, so dropping to the daily time frame. Uh, this is what uh, I'm seeing here now. We've got one, two, three here and another one, two, three. So looking like uh, GBP wants to continue to the downside against the US dollar, interestingly. Okay, so on the four hour time frame, again, uh, this is what I'm seeing. We're in a channel. We're heading to the downside right now. There's no move to the upside at this at this point. So you just go with what it's doing on the one hour time frame. We'd be looking for one, two, three. That would be it there. So at this point here, we'd be looking for one, two, three to take us down. So GBP looking very weak uh, uh, against the US dollar at this point, okay? All right, so let's take a look at the uh, New Zealand US dollar. So this should be similar to the Aussie US dollar. And uh, again, on this one, we are in a, a big channel here as well. Even at this point here, we were in a tight channel and we're right at the top of the channel. Okay, so drop into the weekly time frame. We um, we're bouncing to the upside. So there's our channel 
the top, we've hit the top of our channel, uh, we're going to push through. That's totally possible. So let's see on the daily time frame how that looks. So on the daily, uh, we've moved up very strongly. We have a one, two, three bottom here. We've moved up and we're kind of in a channel here looking to push one more time back up to this resistance area. So this is what the New Zealand is showing, just like the, um, the Aussie, that there's some weakness um, against the US dollar, the, the strength against the US dollar at this point. So on the four hour, we are totally sideways and uh, looking for a move to the upside here. Okay, so on the one hour, again, we'd be looking for a one, two, three bottom to take us out and up. And uh, this was almost one there, but now it's formed right there. That would be the push to take us out and up. So again, I can utilize the wave calculator and put the one, two, three on at that point. That will give me targets to the previous resistance. And there they are again. So it's given us targets perfectly to the previous resistance area and, uh, and also to here. So a nice likely target is that right there. So a nice push to the upside is upcoming for the, for the next few days. Okay, so that's New Zealand US dollar. Let's take a look at the USD CAD. And the USD CAD, um, you now uh, a weak US dollar, of course, would, would propel this to the downside. So this is on the monthly. And uh, on the monthly, we've been uh, very much, very strong to the upside overall. And uh, get a little bit of a pullback here currently. It's big, three big red bars there. On the weekly time frame, that's the drop on the daily we dropped to the, to this previous uh, support area here, and uh, now we're bouncing. Okay, so the expectation if the U.S. dollar goes weak is that this would would fall. So we've got one, two, three tops up here. So I would expect price to can come back down into this area, and so that's what I'd be looking at uh, overall. Four hour, um, we're pushing to the upside here, but again, looking for a turnaround to to bring us down. On the one hour time frame, that's what we'd be looking for. One, two, three top like that. There it is. And we're looking for a move to the downside. So this is a, con a completion of a, of a move up. And now we're looking for that move back down. Okay, so again, I can utilize the wave calculator to pinpoint uh, targets on, on this setup. And there they are all the way down to previous support. Okay, so that's a look at the USD CAD. Okay, and a quick look at uh, USD Swiss. Uh, again, on the monthly, uh, on this monthly, you can you clearly see that we're in a sideways channel. So we're right in sort of the middle bottom of the channel. And so knowing where we are overall is, is paramount to understanding um, how to make some pips in, in this, uh, in the Forex. So at this point here, we, we're, we're, we're heading downwards. On the daily, we're also heading to the downside. Uh, on the four hour, we are also uh, in a channel again at this point here. And so US dollar uh, right now against the Swiss looking like it wants to push to the upside, at least in the short term. Okay, so that's on the four hour. On the one hour, okay, that's uh, again, you can see that that's what's happening. We're, we're in this channel this way. So we would expect to push to the upside. Uh, Swiss coming back up, back up into this area. Okay, so that's what I'd be looking for, a move to the upside, like US dollar against the Swiss. So a, a strong US dollar against a weak Swiss. Okay, on USD Japanese yen, on the monthly, okay, this one is in a complete uh, sideways uh, pattern right now. Let's take a look at this from our, shrink because we got some charts to the left on, so on this uh, shrinking of the chart, you can see, you can clearly see now that we ha we have been in a big. Oops, sorry about that. We've been in. Let me clear that and do that again. Um, okay, we have been in this big huge channel this way, and just up and down, up and down in it. So we're on a, on a trajectory to the downside overall, and we're in this channel at this point uh, on the monthly. So. Uh, dropping to the weekly. Okay, now we can see our channel much clearer here. 
and uh, that's where we're just chopping up and down and we're kind of in the middle of the channel so which way would we expect to break uh, we've been in an overall downtrend so i would expect a uh, price to to fall more so than to go up okay so look into the daily time frame um, this is what again i'm seeing uh, we're in the channel again and coming to the lower end of the channel so us dollar against let me just make this bigger us dollar against the uh, japanese yen uh, is looking uh, like it wants to fall so uh, um, on the daily we've got uh, a one two three setup there and possibility for price to drop this way okay on the four hour time frame we're coming a little closer so we're in some choppiness again and this is the takeaway very choppy and again we'd be looking for price um right at this point here we could move up a little bit just back up into this area before we get a, a one two three to take us back down but the, the trajectory is to the downside so it's a, it's a bit choppy right now but that's what i'd be looking for so i wouldn't be jumping in as yet this is more like the pattern we might get another push out of out of this we could get another push to the upside right here okay so us dollar strength against the japanese yen at least in the short term perhaps um, if if it cannot break that level, then we're heading down. Okay, so that's what I'd be looking at. USD Japanese yen. Okay, um, and uh, look at uh, gold real quickly. On the monthly, uh, big strong push on the monthly to the upside. We're right up against our previous resistance area and this whole area here. So we have some room for gold to push to towards this previous high so lots of opportunities there for gold so very strong on the weekly uh, very strong on the daily four hour very strong as well so looking pretty pretty good there on the one hour time frame um, again uh, looking very strong so it's just a matter of being patient and waiting out a proper uh, opportunity to continue this move to the upside we could get a pullback into this area definitely uh, a re there would be a retrace of this current move. That's totally possible before it goes. So patience is required at this point in time on the gold. Okay, so that's a look at what I'm seeing setting up for the major pairs and gold for the uh, for week of the 29th. Thank you and uh, profitable trading to everyone. We're done now. Thank you.